Hey guys, my name is Ricardo da Costa and this is DO288, Red Hat OpenShift Development 1, containerizing applications. So again, if you had a look at this entire workflow, where, where this process starts with a simple request, it goes to root, root goes to server, service takes us to one or more pods. So let's actually go and put that in there. One or more pods. Um, uh, how did those pods get there? The pods were put there by the deployment config. And the deployment config has got an embedded replication controller. What did the deployment config use? The deployment config used an image stream. Um, how, did, uh, how did we get those images? Uh, we got that from a build. How did the build happen? The build happened as a result of uh, a build config. Now, while this describes the workflow, there are some resources that are not created for you by the OC new app command. And while it is very popular to make use of a, of a root resource, um, that is not created by OC new app. So to handle the scenario that we just presented right now on the whiteboard, we would use a option called dash dash strategy. So in this particular case, you would say uh, either Docker or source. Naturally, if you say Docker, it's going to process the Docker file. It's going to look for a file literally called Docker file, and it's going to look at the instructions contained inside that file and then process those instructions, which will uh, result in a brand new container image a container image that would then be published to the OpenShift registry. So now we're told that we need to verify that the application works inside of OpenShift. And we have to wait for the container image to be deployed. I'm confident that it is uh, deployed at the stage. And now we can run the command OC status. So you can see that we are working inside of a project called Docker build. You can see which uh, cluster we are communicating with. You can see as well that we have a deployment config. We have an image stream tag. We have a build config. And you can see that we have a deployment. Uh, and the deployment consists of one pod. So of course, you want to see what that pod is, right? So let's go and have a look at the output of OC get pods. If you wanted to see all your resources, you would simply say uh, OC get all. 